Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Wow, we are just continuing down the flustered MCX custom train. We have reviewed so many like this gorgeous Mark 7 or these custom concept art Spartan Noble team members. How about a new articulation CQB? Don't like any of that? How about George with a custom 3D printed skewer from LS3D Printing? And yes, all of these were painted by flustered MCX and any of the unique molds were made by our friend LS3D Printing. Today, we're moving on to the most horrific of all of the characters in Halo. The things of true nightmares. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen the title, the thumbnail of this video. We're talking about the Flood today. Okay, first of all, Flustered MCX included some of these Flood, and I have been told by him that a lot of this Flood was made by our friend Wildfire Customs, so we're gonna check that out later. But yeah, we -hoo -hoo -hoo. here we go. Ah, uh, the flood is back, baby. You know me, I love talking about flood on this channel and I really love showing off custom flood. Bam Bam Productions has made a lot for me in the past. Matty Crafts has made some for me as well. And this is Flustered MCX turn to shine. We're gonna start with this human because it looks so wild. Look at this poor head. I mean, what happened here? I imagine that's like, it kind of looks like the pilot from the Wasp, maybe? I don't know, that's that's so horrible. I'm, I'm so sorry you got sucked into this flood mass. Oh no. All right, so how much of this is molded and how much is the actual flood? This new articulation flood arm looks like it's totally molded. They've taken a normal arm. I don't know of what species, but it's got a normal hand. And then they've added all of this gunk on top of it. And this is not actually that difficult to do. If you're sitting at home and you're like, oh man, I wish there was more flood out there. You can actually do it yourself. You can take any figure. You can take putty, maybe green stuff is what it's called. And then just like mold it on, wrap it around, make these fingers. It's not actually that difficult. I think I'm gonna make some tutorials when I'm in England showing you how you can do that. These flood tentacles are from an actual flood. The Clash on the Ring blind bags as one of many comes with new articulation. I call them new articulation, more just like bigger and flexible versions of these. I guess that's what he's stuck onto the front of this. I believe this is a Wildfire custom, and if so, please do sub to Wildfire. I'm gonna include the links to Flustered MCX, Wildfire, and LS3D printing in the comments and the description down below, so please do make sure to give them some support. And the second one is a classic elite, but this time, New Articulation. The Flood has just been announced to be coming back into New Articulation with the Flood Traxxas Tower, so I'm really excited about that, but I think this this plasma rifle is definitely gonna be 3D printed, right? This is a totally different plasma rifle than anything we've seen before. And the flood was holding it like this, kind of upside down, but that's how it was. And yeah, I guess this is 3D printed, so this will have been sent to Flustered MCX and he will have painted it. He's done a really bang up job with this little energy reading here that is very difficult to do. I would love to have a variant that's like red as well, like it's been overcharged. Wow, this is really impressive, really impressive. And LS3D printing sells a lot of unique weapons, head molds, all that kind of beautiful stuff that you want to kit your Halo character out with. That's an elite head. Oh God, that's so gross. Cause like, if you can imagine the flood light like, comes into the body wherever, uh, maybe there's a wound or maybe there's an air hole, whatever. The flood comes in and then the biomass kind of just pushes the head out. It's a really gross way to die. And I think the lore is that the creature that was taken over is still a little bit sentient. At least that was the case with uh, Captain Keys, but he was a proto grave mine, So maybe he was a bit different. But these look fantastic. This, um, I don't know what chest this is. It's definitely a female's torso and it might be a classic Halo Infinite Marine. These, these legs though. I need to compare it side by side. I'll get an image of what I think it is on the screen. But yeah, oh, these are so gross. Thankfully, Flustered MCX is letting me keep both of these. He's actually letting me keep these two and the Peppermint Spartan and an Elite that we've not actually seen yet. So I'm sending the rest of them back to him, but I'm so happy that I can keep these Flood because you know me, I love Flood, I love Flood Customs and I love Flood Dioramas. So that's what we're gonna do when we're back in England. We're gonna make all the Flood Dioramas.
So let me know in the comments down below what you think of these nightmares. These are absolutely horrific. The way that biomass like leaks across the chest and then the head, oh man. I would have filled in that hole, but that's a tiny thing. These look so good. These look so good. I'm really happy with these and really happy that I got a new articulation basic elite and basic marine. That's really good for dioramas. So as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Let me know how big your flood collection is and if you're looking forward to the Traxxas Tower. I'm sure after we get the Traxxas Tower, there'll be more like flood included in blind bags and heroes and everything else. So the flood is coming back in a big way next year and I cannot be more excited about it. And the flood is signing off.